The problem is email overload. Uh, but we understand we can't solve this problem because it's like it's just too big for us. Uh, but we can solve just a fraction of it. So in our case, uh, uh, we're working with the cold emails. Let's say our company, uh, we are getting quite a lot of emails every day from recruiters pitching their candidates, even though they, uh, we are not hiring. So uh, it's all uh, noise in our mailbox, and we want only important messages from strangers uh, be delivered to our inbox. So what we do, uh, what our service is doing, uh, is we allow you uh, to charge uh, the strangers call centers, the people that you don't know, to get their email delivered to your inbox. The website is uh, inbox, inbox2.me. So when you sign up, uh, it's pretty easy uh, settings. So we just ask you how much you want to charge for your email and uh, choose a charity that you want to transfer uh, the, the profits from people uh, that's getting your emails. And also one important thing is uh, once you sign up, we whitelist uh, all your emails in your contact list. So those guys uh, that you used to interact before, these guys uh, will uh, don't need to pay for, uh, for sending you email. Uh, our service creates uh, a folder uh, in your email account. In this case, it's Gmail. Um, so we, once the, the email hits your mailbox, uh, we check if the email is in your whitelist. If it's not, we transfer this uh, message from your inbox to this folder so you will not get the push notification on your phone. <laughs> yeah, so basically uh, we, we just enter the card details and once uh, the payment is done, we move the emails back from, uh, from our folder to, to your inbox. And now recipients receive the, should receive some kind of, um, Payment recipient. That's uh, the the delivery payment. Uh, the delivery uh, invoice has been paid. So, is there any particular feedback that you'd like to give? Them? I'm just wanna understand. Do people really like the idea, or uh, they think it's just not gonna work? Well, first of all, big round of applause. Thank you very much. For <laughs> Does this in any way solve the problem of actually getting hold of the email in the first place? Because if we're talking about emailing a VC, would we have that person's email to begin with? Well, we, we, we don't solve the problem getting your email of the VC. Um, it's, your, it's your job. Um, so we solve uh, a problem for the VC getting, uh, filter your email uh, as a startup. But you are right, I mean, uh, uh, f Facebook is doing this. They they you know, charge you for sending messages to people that you don't know. LinkedIn has its own uh, email email uh, program when you need to purchase credits to your message people that you're not connected to. So this is kind of uh, a clone uh, of this same concept to to the email. My, my main problem with this is um, the people who would use this service don't want spam. Um, so you're raising the cost of sell for the spammers. So basically, because there's no guarantee they're even going to read it, even if they pay, right? So if you're successful for the people who want to stop the spam, then technically the spammers aren't going to use it anymore. So you might, if you, the more successful you are, the less spam there's going to be, and we'll all be very thankful because you'll have killed spam, but then you won't have a business anymore. So <laughs> where, where, where is it heading, you know? That, 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 that's a good point, actually. <laughs> uh, but uh, we, I mean, we, we like to differentiate spam and spam and cold emails. Uh, so basically, people uh, still uh, email, emails each other for uh, like business inquiries or wants to pitch their service services. The, there, there would be some kind of like cold, cold email spam. Uh, so we don't uh, I talking would about differentiate yeah? from uh, a, cre a credible startup and the African prince who's just run away from his war-torn <laughs> country has managed to get three million that he needs transferred into your account. I mean, they both want the same thing, money. Yeah, and, and that's basically what people spam for. Or whether, you know, you, could, you, can grab, you can put a hierarchy of the good spam or bad spam, but ultimately, you know, that, that's, you know, that's what this would be for, to block un, unwarranted emails, regardless of the, the intention. 
No, uh, I mean, I'm agree. Uh, but in case of like preprints from Africa, he'll definitely not gonna pay, but the startup, uh, he, 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 he is kind of the target audience for this. The from Africa gets a lot more money <laughs> and has more to pay. But yeah, I mean, I'm just putting that theoretical yeah, yeah, thing that's, uh, there, you know, I'm not, it's just, you know, that's one thing for me. It's like, well, you know, where does this go? It's well, but it's, uh, if we come to the, I mean, if we'll, our name be in a history for killing the spam, I mean, I don't mind. Uh, Thank you very much, Nikki. Sir.